A major Halo event that was supposed to happen next week is cancelled. And 343 finally reveals the date of the end of the year update, which is going to be bringing a lot of fixes, as well as fixes to these servers, which have been the biggest pain point for the community. And we have a confirmation of when the end of the year update, which will be coming very soon, guys, bringing us some content and fixes to the servers. So if you want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. One of the most important devs over at 343 leaves the company after working there for 11 and a half years. Tom French was the creative director for the multiplayer side of things, a Forge wizard as he puts himself as he did lead Forge in Halo 5 and Epic Mission Designer and stuff like that. So this guy has had a very important role within 343 and now he's left the company to go work with Epic. But add that to the list of another lead dev leaving 343, well, for another opportunity though. So it's one of those things where it's bitter. So he plays, he's been there for 11 and a half years working on Halo. You can imagine being, you know, more motivated to work on other things. Literally everything Tom French worked on in Halo was actually really good. Helped make the gameplay of Halo Infinite feel amazing. Helped make Halo 5's Forge one of the best Forges we ever had until, well, Infinite's Forge. But it also just hurts a little bit more since Microsoft currently is on a hiring freeze because as you can see right here that there are no positions currently available on 343's website due to the hiring freeze. So another key developer leaves. Now, this doesn't mean that they won't be filling in this position. I'm sure they will. But the biggest thing I think is just that like it's not going to be like widely available for people just to apply for. But once we get some information on who the next creative lead for multiplayer will be, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Next, a major event that was supposed to happen next week for Halo gets canceled. Well, delayed in a way right here. We have the Optic Invitational event that was supposed to happen on December 10th through the 11th over in Arlington, but things have been very oddly quiet about this event as people haven't really heard anything about like, are we still being invited? Is it still happening? You know, people bought tickets, people, you know, pay for flights and stuff like that. And we didn't hear anything about like, they, not even the players knew like what they were going to be doing. Then people started getting emails about getting refunds for their tickets for the events. And that people were like, what the heck's going on? And well, the head of Optic Hex talks about it in his podcast. Halo, we had a Halo Invitational that was happening. I was just talking to Matt about it because we haven't made an announcement on, on what it is that we're doing. We are going to be postponing it and we couldn't have said it earlier. We couldn't have done it quicker. Uh, when, when, when something gets planned months in advance to announce what we're going to be doing, uh, unfortunately, because of the state of Halo as it stands right now with WrestleMania, uh, you know, C9 backing out, uh, you know, like all these, all these like sort of moving parts, we were left in a position where we could have made it work by inviting, you know, X amount of teams and then doing a mixture salad of, of teams and creating that. Like, would that have been fun for you guys? No, no. For us to sort of force an event to happen is just like not the optic way, right? Like we, we try to simplify everything because it just makes it more fun, more organic, and it works better than just trying to force something down someone's throat. Uh, and we understand that a lot of people have bought tickets, so we're figuring out everything literally this morning as I sit here at 11.55, November 30th on Wednesday uh, on, on what it is that we're going to do to sort of like, one, we could just say, oh, fuck it, we're not, we're, we're not going to do it and that's that. But we, we instead of doing that, we said, all right, well, obviously the state of Halo, the way that it stands right now isn't like the optimal time to have this thing. So let's push it forward to next year so that we can still still have an event that happens in the middle of the season, or not in the middle of the season, but in the middle of like a, of a downturn of the season so, so we can keep the interest up. But as I was saying, we got a partner to get more money for players to make additional cash if they win something uh, that we now have to sort of go back to and be like, hey, you know, this is the state of Halo, this is what's happening and blah, blah. What can we do? to push this a little bit forward. And I know that a lot of pe people don't understand this, so I'll, I'll make it a little bit, I'll try to explain it a little bit. Brands have budgets for a year. They have, we're gonna spend a million dollars in 2022. This money is gonna go to this Halo event so that this Halo event can have some cash for players to earn additional cash and to keep the momentum of Halo and to keep the community intrigued, engaged, and you know, we, we go down this path. Okay, so now we have to go back to said partner and be like, hey, this is what's happening. It's unfortunate. It's out of our hands. We could just quit, but we're trying to figure something out so that, you know, people benefit. So then we were trying to figure out a way to do it online so that people wouldn't have to travel so that they could do it from their home so they can stream so they can have something to stream on top of that. Right. So not only are we going out of our way to keep the momentum alive on Halo, to keep the fans engaged, to keep the players playing so that they can have a way to monetize not only themselves. Probably just make money just and just playing. Yeah. Right? Just some just something. Please know 
<laughs> that the sooner that we, the, the 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 soonest we could have given you a, a an update, it would have been after I exhausted every single possibility of still having this thing and keeping it alive. So I hope that you guys can understand. But there are a million moving parts. What is this brand going to say? The partner uh, sponsor for the team. What is that? It was. What are they going to say? What's Microsoft going to say? Who is also gracefully out of nowhere supporting Halo a little bit more? And then three, four, three. The amount of work that goes into it. It's not as simple as just saying, "Hey, sorry, pro players dead." So I believe Hex when he says that he pretty much used every possible option out there to make this thing happen, and sadly, just things weren't lined up. As we know, Cloud9 recently just left Halo, dropping the roster. Then for the roster to get picked up by Space Station Gaming, very happy for this organization to be now one of the best teams in the game. E United also jumping out of Halo, so there's just been a lot of things going on right now with Halo scene that. It's just a lot of things are up in the air right now. A lot of things are changing. It's the off season right now when it comes to the competitive side of things. So it's kind of understandable to delay this event, wait till like there's another lull within the whole thing to put on this optic event. So then people, one, have time to do it because it's during the holiday season, yada, 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 all that kind of stuff. It's a shame to see it happen, but it's just what things are right now. And that's the reality of the situation. Now for that end of the year update guys, which there's a lot of info to go through. So let's dive right into all the juiciness right here. So now just a couple of days ago that 343's support Halo Twitter went out and said that they were testing out some data when it comes to the North Central servers to kind of test some things out so you can get some gather some data and well, it turns out it did pretty well for themselves. And tweeting this out yesterday saying that our testing in the North Central US data center is complete and we've gathered the required data. Next week, we will begin to gradually roll out changes to all of our North American data centers. Stay tuned for further updates. As we stated, like this is part of the ping fluctuation issue that's been going on and dreadfully taking over Halo for so many months. Well, if you don't know what the ping fluctuation issue that's been going on with Halo, Lucid has a clip right here showcasing what it's all about. Can anybody please clip the start of this game with the packet loss and constant ping fluctuations for the past like minute or two? You gotta reset the servers or some shit. Need to need to get something out. And this was posted back on July 28th. This is when it really kind of started going really bad for Halo. So really glad to see that this fix is going to be happening. Now, I know a lot of people have kind of confused this with the desync issue that's been going on, which it's not desync, it's ping fluctuations is what they're really looking to fix up with this winter update. That's two completely separate issues, but also Unishek actually hit up Twitter to kind of reply to a few things to give us actually like a date of when to expect this whole thing to come out. So I'm super excited about this, guys, because it can be genuinely fixing the game to a state where it's actually playable online, which is something I've been waiting for months for it to actually happen. Then lots of good stuff landing next week in this update. We'll have a blog landing alongside this Tuesday outlining the details, which you know, come on, I'm going to be covering this on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, to keep yourself updated and know what all those little details are, because you know, it's kind of my thing but to go back into this right here he stated in that this is the end of the year update as well which i actually predicted the update to come out with the december 20th update when it comes to the event of the winter contingency now it's actually be coming right next week like next tuesday guys we're gonna get a lot of great information about this so this is also bringing in some extra content and extra fixes talking about like the pit is me coming in with this update as well we might also see some changes to ranked weapons as we do know like the mangler and the sword and all these other kind of things that were with GA within Halo Infinite's uh, ranked settings are, well, you know, still there. So we could see some changes with that happen. Another thing, actually, uh, we might actually see with this update is Red Reticle on PC, which I know if you guys haven't seen, uh, you know, play Halo on PC, there is no Red Reticle. So it's really tough to judge like what range you are to where you get that aim assistant right here. But this is what Sketch said back on October, saying that played some post winter update builds and let me just say the PC Reticle was red. This could be part of the winter update. We just have to wait and see what really kind of comes around for that whole thing. Uh, we do know there are actually are going to be some extra things coming with this winter update, like content wise of things that you can actually finally unlock that have been basically hidden away for the longest time with Halo. One of those being the Requiem Revengeance stance, the Act of Genesis stance, the Infinity Ship Weapon Charm, and the Banish Deception Wasp coating for Halo Infinite, which has all been kind of tied behind Cobb, which hasn't really been available for you to unlock. 
and Unistrike said that this is going to be coming in with the quality of life update coming in before the end of the year. So that's really exciting stuff as well, because obviously these things have been locked away, you know, in the game. We've been able to see them for so long and now we're actually getting a chance to unlock it. Uh, one thing we actually could expect with this update are some fixes for Forge, as there are a lot of things kind of getting a little funky with this Forge. If you guys had a chance to jump in and play some games, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. And we also have the Forge Lord himself, Michael Score, went on to Twitter to kind of talk about this a little bit, saying that all the known improvements that they need to make for Forge, all the known issues and stuff like that, all kind of detailing like things like crashing, but then like not saving work and stuff like that. And so it's gonna be, we might see some changes there as well. Again, we just have to wait and see when that patch actually does go live, but can I give you a frame of reference of what we could see? I know a lot of people are excited about cross core customization. I wouldn't expect anything to happen with that. I would be very surprised as usually 343 would tease these kind of things to come to the game. And we have heard nothing from 343 about extra cross core customization happening anytime soon. I mean, we definitely have heard them about like wanting to make uh, cross coatings and stuff like that. Maybe even helmets being cross core as well, but we, we haven't heard anything in the recent news. So I wouldn't expect that with this winter update. But like I said, of course, once we get that patch notes blog guys, I will cover it all in detail on the channel here guys. So if you guys want to save the day with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. Now with the pit also coming back into the game guys, I'm very excited about it. One of my all time favorite maps, I actually made a video showcasing the 15 plus changes that they made to the map for Halo Infinite. You can check it out right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.